Welcome to Logos Cloud. In this tutorial, we will go through a brief tour of the world's most powerful Bible software. I'll teach you to find your books, search for key terms, organize your layout, run Bible word studies, and get started using Logos Guides. If you need more help using any of the features in this introduction, look for more tutorial videos coming to faithlife.com slash Logos Cloud. Logos opens to the homepage where you can read informative articles, view the latest media, and get up-to-date product information and promotions. You can customize this content with the gear icon to the right. In the sidebar to the left, Logos posts your prayer reminders, reading plans, lectionary readings, and more. Just above the homepage sidebar, you'll find the Go box. Here you can input the passage or topic you want to study, and Logos will automatically open the relevant tools and resources to help jumpstart your study. To return to the home page, type Close All in the command bar, or just click the Home button. Next is the Library button, where we can find resources with a keyword, like title, author, or subject. To find a book, enter the title you're looking for, like Pilgrim's Progress. Then click the title link to open the resource. For finding works by a specific author, input the word author followed by a colon and the author's name, like Calvin. Again, to open a resource, click the resource title and Logos will open it in a new panel. You can also find resources by type. Enter the word type followed by a colon and the type of resource you're looking for, like commentary. Now we can see all of the commentaries in your Logos library. If you have a favorite commentary, you can drag it to the prioritize list, so Logos will use it first. If there's a resource you read often, like the ESV, you can create a button for it on the shortcuts bar at the top of the program. Locate the resource in your library window, then drag and drop the resource title into the shortcut bar. Now just click the button whenever you want to open the ESV. We can also open a resource by typing its title or abbreviation in the command box. Let's input the abbreviation for the Faith Life Study Bible and hit enter. Logos opens the new resource to the same passage we have open in our Bible. To link these two texts together, open the resource panel menu and choose link set A, then repeat for the FSB. Now we can read through the biblical text and the Faith Life Study Bible will scroll with us, giving instant access to study notes on the Bible. To rearrange your panels, drag and drop the resource tab to move it anywhere on the screen or click and drag the edge of the tile to resize it. If you like this layout and want to save it for later, click the Layouts menu to the right and choose Save as Named Layout, then give this layout a name. Now we can go back to the Layouts menu anytime, click the Save Layout, and Logos reopens the resources the way we arranged them. This is a great way to save your work or reuse a workflow that you like. To discover the information that's embedded into the passage you're reading, go to the Tools menu and click Information. Now, when we hover over individual words, Logos reveals a definition of the term, popular English translations, original language information, and much more. You can also see most of this information by simply right-clicking a term to open the context menu. Here, Logos lists different kinds of information about the term in the right-hand column, then gives us a list of different things we can do with that information on the left. For example, if you want to look for every occurrence of the word faith, Right-click the word in Romans 5.1, select the surface term from the right, and choose to run an inline search from the left. With reverse interlinear Bibles like the ESV, Logos exposes the original language behind the English text. By clicking the interlinear button on the toolbar, I can click any English term in the ESV and see the manuscript form that appears in the Greek New Testament, the lemma or dictionary form of the word, a transliteration, and morphological data for this word. To quickly get an in-depth study on a Greek or Hebrew word, right-click, choose Lemma, and open Bible Word Study. The report will show definitions of the word, chart how it's translated in this Bible version, and runs a number of textual searches. Searching is a powerful tool in Logos. When we click the Search button to open a new search panel, we see several search types. Basic Search will find terms throughout all of your library, while Bible Search will focus only within Bible verses. You may also have other specialized search types. To learn more about these, check out more videos on these individual options. For now, select Bible Search, and note that in the space below, Logos provides sample queries that we can use to build our own search. For example, if you want to look for a person in the Bible, scroll down to the sample search, Person Moses. 
With this example, we can jump to the search box and enter Person Abraham and find every place where this biblical figure is mentioned, even when he's mentioned as a pronoun or by a different name like Abram. Then we can narrow the reference range by clicking the drop-down and adjusting all passages to Genesis. This search will uncover every reference to Abraham in the book of Genesis. Jumping up to the Documents menu, you can create or open documents like notes and highlights, prayer lists, and reading plans. Whenever you create a Logos document, Logos backs up your work in your Logos.com account so that it synchronizes to everywhere you use Logos. Whether on another computer or your mobile device, you always have the latest copy of your work. From the Guides drop-down, you can create special reports for different kinds of information. For instance, to see everything your library has to say on a Bible passage, open the Passage Guide, then input the reference that you're studying and hit Enter. In the Guide Report, Logos queues all of your relevant resources that discuss this text, like commentaries, journal articles, cross-references from the Bible and other ancient literature, and much more. Each guide serves a special function. Passage Guide for Bible Passages, Exegetical Guide and Bible Word Study for information on the original language, Sermon Starter for suggestions of preaching outlines and illustrations, and Topic Guide for what the Bible says about a subject. Each of these guides are covered in-depth in other tutorial videos. The Tools menu contains a number of valuable assets to enhance your Bible study, including the interactive resources you own listed to the right. For now, let's take a look at the Factbook, where we can investigate biblical people, places, events, and more. Notice that when we begin typing Herod into the search box, Logos auto-completes to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Let's choose the entry for Herod's Temple, and Factbook instantly loads a wealth of visual and textual information. Thanks for joining me for this brief overview of Logos Cloud. For more help on any of the features in Logos, search the Help Manual, or look for more tutorial videos at faithlife.com slash logoscloud.